see. Thank you. You wear many hats, like from CEO to creator to arts director, like all the Lynx videos, you're the one who directed them. Yeah. Do you sleep? <laughs> you don't? <laughs> I don't. You don't? I don't. I don't. The amount of work that goes into it and the long hours, it doesn't like allow me to have enough sleep. But yeah, I have the passion for the work. For so everything. I, like when I'm doing it, I don't even care about yeah. it. Till the work is done, mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't sleep. I, I will be sleeping and I feel like I have to do a lot of things. Exactly. I'll just wake up and then, you know. Well, what I mean it. is she's actually the arts director on all Lynx videos and many other videos as well. Hadja for Reels videos. Yeah. She's the one that does production design and arts direction on that. Adina, she's worked... Listen, this lady is very creative. How did this all start for you? Okay, so um, let's just say this is who I am. Okay. Like, it's me. Growing up, I've always had this eye for creating beautiful things. Okay. At a point, I didn't even know that it was an option. For it, to, for it to be a, a career, like yeah. a career path, I didn't know. I just, in school, every time I have a different way of designing my books oh. with my bag, even at work in the house, I create, like decorate the spaces in the house every time. But like, it's just a thing that I have for decorating, but I didn't even know it's a career path or anything I could even do. I, but, but what did you study in school? <laughs> <laughs> I like how you're laughing. That means you okay, probably did chemistry or mm. physics what, or something. What I'm doing now and what I did in school is two separate things. Can what you did believe you do? like I was doing food and nutrition? Like I went to you need to study oh, food and nutrition. But you were creating I wanted things anyway, food. Yeah, but it's not it's not in line at all. Like I thought I would be a nutritionist, like a dietitian, because okay. that was my path. So after uni, I just after uni NSS then I had the opportunity to travel to the States. Mm -hmm. So there is where I saw that there is opportunity in art and design. And I knew definitely that I had that to come back home yeah. and then create something and do like and make a difference. You didn't enjoy it? As in? When, when you were at the, because you said you came back home. Yeah, as in, I knew uh, like all the arts and the, I said like I learned some things mm. online and you know that, that space is already there's taken. So much like there's so learn. much going on over there. So I realized my country needs beautiful things too. So I wanted to come back home and then create. So what like, was the first nice job things. that you did? The very first job I did is um, I did um, the album cover photo shoots for Adina, for oh. Araba. Okay. That's um, her album. Okay. Then that she released. So like I worked on I worked on the art direction for the um, photo shoots for that. So that was my first major thing that I did. Did you do that. that with Lynx or were no, you on I your did, own? That one, Adina wasn't at Lynx at that time. Okay. So it's just she hitting me up because I was doing my own crafts and DIYs. I'm always doing something like that. So she saw it and she was like, I was blinging some things. She's like, oh, she really likes these things. How do I do them? I'm like, oh, this is, I, like, I've been doing it okay. all my life. I love it. So, so what, like, she saw you on social you? media? No, she actually saw me at Lynx. Ah. You know, Adina is friends with, with Link, the so team, yeah. yes. So she came about and I was already doing my thing. So she said, oh, I'm, ha I'm coming to have my uh, Araba, blah, 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 my yeah. photo shoot. Can you help me? do?" And I was like, oh, okay, fine. I can do this. What were you doing at Links at that time? Okay, so... Were you working with them? Yes. Then? I, I had, no, then I had started working oh, with Links. Oh, okay, okay. Then um, I had already started my Infinity Designs company, my okay. interior decor. So I was there and then Links was actually also looking to change the face of their music videos because... I think it was getting boring for yeah. them. So they saw what I was doing, and then they said if I could come and art direct for them, for their music video. So that mm. was my first ever music video I did. That was um, Say Cheese Remix for mm. Kiddy. Mm -hmm. So that was my first art direction video I did for them. I see. And so yeah, that's how it came up. Me, I'm curious, so I'll keep pushing. So Lynx called you, yeah. said they love what you did. Who mm -hmm. in Lynx called? Who? Richie. Richie called you mm. to talk about work or to talk about oh. Alatins? Oh, no, no Alatins. <laughs> work, we don't mix business with do you Do you know who she really is? Do you know why I'm asking these oh, questions? No. You don't know? <laughs> you don't know this is Richie's baby girl, wife-to-be? You have no idea? <laughs> oh, you didn't know her? <laughs> go on, go on, go on. I know. Oh, my God. And a birdie whispered to me that they're engaged. <clears throat> Are you? Is that true? Yeah. Oh! Congratulations! <laughs> hey, God, Bella. Oh, don't mind me. It's like that. Sometimes you have to, you know, veer off small, then you come back. 
So, I so know. how did it start with Ian Richie? What, what was it that was happening? Tell oh. us. Let's let's talk about that one is another show like no oh is this show see. is this show is this show no it's it's a long story I don't I don't even remember summarize, summarize. summarize it for us right yeah. ah how did I meet you hmm, hmm, hmm. it was actually when I was in school when I was in school you see how links we used to do the links TV blah 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 I remember so that, yeah. a friend of mine used to intern at links at that time so they were looking for a presenter. Mm. to do the Alinx TV things for them. So they called me. She called me. I think I didn't pick up then. And then Richie called me. Mm -hmm. She said, hi, I'm Richie Mansa of Lynx Entertainment. I need, I'm looking for you to do. I said, okay. I'm, I was in Cape Coast then. I lived in Cape Coast. That's all my life I've been in Cape Coast. So I said, I usually come to Accra to visit my cousin. So I said, okay, I'll come to Accra. So when I come, I'll come to the Lynx Studios. Yeah. And then, so that is when it's And that's happened. when it starts. And then, to be sure they didn't even happen again. Oh, it happened again? Yeah. Because you found what we were looking for. We anyway. can't work, work with pleasure, but... But you're yeah. doing it. And you're doing it successfully. Yeah, right now. Business is business. It is booming. Very booming. It has to boom. How do you... Okay, you let's move away from links. I mean, from Richie. Maybe we'll come back some way somehow. Hey. But how do you come up with your ideas? Like, how do you know that... This is an empty space. I want to create A, B, C, and you actually do that. Honestly, like truthfully speaking, creativity is all around us, everywhere, in our streets, offices, everywhere I go. So I just pick inspiration from what I see mm. and then add my own creativity, my inner creativity to it. It's not anything special where I can say I'm a genius. I have this innate thing in me where I can work magic. It's really all around us. So just like that, even while you're here. I could just see, like, you will never know. I could just see this and then I'll think of ways of maybe adding things to it mm -hmm. or even making it better or changing it all around. It's not that, like, I pick inspiration from every online, on TV. But isn't it difficult and very demanding? Because difficult. your idea as against what maybe your client is also expecting. Oh, yeah. How do so you merge the Most two? of the time, most of the time, before I even do set design for a client, we just have to meet, discuss it. Maybe he, would, he or she would have a total different thing in mind, what mm -hmm. he wants to do. And I will also maybe approach him with, okay, we can also do it this way, do it that way. So we just talk back and forth and we come to a conclusion and then we pick it up from there. So I, I know that if you've been to my boss's office, um, the boss of APL, um, she's the one that did her office, like literally set it up, and it's yes. beautiful. Even these chairs, this little space here was her idea. So I wish you could see her office. But I remember I walked in because Peffy told me you should see my office. <laughs> then I walk in, I'm like, why don't I have an office like this too? <laughs> so Baba, you owe me. You owe me a setup some way, somehow. I will but that's do beautiful. I've Thank seen you. that. I've seen Wonderland. Yes. And from what she did in 2022, uh, what you did in 2021. Yeah. And then I saw 2022 and I was like, this is like even a, an upgrade of yeah. what you did. In 2021, I think we just did like 32, 30, 30 to 32 setups. Yeah. But this year, of course, every time you need to go big and yeah. make it very for my people. So, so you did? We decided to do like 50 installations. So we turned the whole studio upside down. Like we wiped everything off to start from scratch and build all the sets. In how many days? We actually used two weeks to do that. Two weeks to create 50 yes. different sets. It's two weeks. And at that time, because I had already like prepped and planned everything that I wanted to do. So I started my planning in, say, March. So I knew whatever we were going to. So I created all the experiences, everything that I want to do with them. Sat down with my team and told mm -hmm. them, okay, this is what we have to do. So they bring in ideas. Okay, we can do it this way. We can okay. do it. Because we have amazing, hardworking, and talented people at Tigon. So we, the team, came together, mm -hmm. looked at what I have, and then we took it from there. So, so when people walk studio. into Wonderland, what, what are they expecting to see? What are some of the setups? I need them. I created a photo heaven for them. Okay. To me, I feel like they should come in and experience any and everything they've always wanted to do, like a photo shoot they've always wanted to do, or even a mere picture where they just want to use their phones to take. Like, there is something for everybody. Yeah. And I need them to come with their friends and families, come and experience it, because the sets are mostly interactive. Okay. You just have to, like, you have to, you just don't stand there and pose. That's, that's the thing about Wonderland. It's just not about coming in and taking photos. Yeah. No. It's about the experience, taking something out of out it of after it. you leave. Because I had a lot of people in my DMs, oh my God, this is so beautiful. Beautiful. It's a very nice thing you've done for Ghana. We are so appreciated. And I realized people really love this. Ghanaians are, are creative people. Mm. We just don't get the opportunity yeah. to 
really express and, and ourselves. And I was going to come to that because there might be some difficulties that you've faced in this industry, coming up with these ideas, yeah. getting people to buy into the ideas. It's, What's been the toughest moment for you? My, my toughest moment actually is the, is the working hours and the amount of, like the amount of work that goes into it mm. and the hours because <clears throat> it's, it's, it's so challenging when you have to wake up every day, do this all the time. Like mm -hmm. you just can't, you, you have to be focused. You can't just take it up and say, okay, let me do this, stop this and go and do yeah. another thing at yeah. another time. Like if you are focused on it, you have to be focused. So my only challenge has been the, the time that it comes in because it takes all of you. Not the money? Because I, I, I assume the, that that costs a lot as well. It costs it cost a lot with the things because it is money I used to buy the things. Exactly. So the once you... And the thing is, because I'm passionate about it, I don't even think about the money first. Okay. That's, okay. that's my first point. I don't... Of course, I really love Are you money, listening? Yeah. Because she's passionate, she doesn't think about the money first. I don't really think about the money first. I do that because... I need them to be satisfied. I mm. need clients to be satisfied. Because if they are not satisfied, how will they come and call me again exactly. to do something else? So, yeah, the passion and the doing it and doing it beautifully. That is my That's main goal. Me. And after, I feel like if I do it and do it right, the money will come. It will come indeed, yeah. right? Okay. What would you say has been your best ever work? Bestest. Oh. If even there's a word like that. <laughs> my best work, not because it's my best, but because of the experience I got out of it, Global Citizen. Oh, oh you I worked got, on Global Citizen? Yeah, yeah, I did the, um, the VIP lounge, the water stations, the charging ah. stations and everything. So I just got to meet international brands like um, Citibank, Harry, okay. the UN. So I worked with them as the, the experience they gave me, the Zoom calls, because we start, Global Citizen was in, in September. Yes, it was. We started talking in July, yeah. I guess, so like they ran me through how they want their thing and everything was very swift and... A lot it of people, was, when they amazing. attended Global Citizen, were saying that we can't match this anyway, anyhow, in Ghana with we, our events because we they were so organized. They are. Everything followed after the other. It's like they knew what they wanted at every point. Yeah. You are creative. You've worked with a lot of industry people. Mm -hmm. What would you say after having worked with a team that organized Global Citizen? I think, um, first of all, we will get there. Okay. Ghanaians, we will get there. It's just that, because most of the things they even use, the things that really made Global Citizen what it is, is because they actually imported a lot of their stuff for the stages and all that. Yeah. And we are not equipped yet to have all of that, the exactly. lights and the machines. So we will get there. Okay. It is very hard, but we will get we there. We will, we should, They shouldn't think that Ghanaians, like somebody would have to come here and do something where yeah, yeah, they wouldn't yeah, match yeah. up to it. We would definitely get there. What's been the most exciting music video that you've had directed for? I also had to prove a point because I wanted to be doing her music videos for her. Oh, so you proved a point. I had to kill it. I think you overdid it. Like, yeah. it was beautiful, right? Please, please, beautiful. appreciate her. It's not easy. But so you've worked with all these people. You've worked on Global Citizen. What is the next big thing for you? That's, that's very easy. Hmm. Oh, it's I'm, easy? I'm the biggest Beyonce fan on earth right now. So okay. I want to add direct uh, Beyonce's music. Hey, amen. Amen. Amen to amen. that. Amen. That's, that's my aim. No if, way. If you're watching this, cut yeah. this part, put it out, tag please. Beyonce. Beyonce, please. Please, let's, let's mob her on social media with yes, this video and yes, let her know please. that Baba Amwaba in Ghana says she's going to add direct her next music video. Yes, what Beyonce. would that mean to you if it actually comes to pass? I don't know. I think I'll die. Ima ima imagine you get a call from Beyonce's team and they say, well... First, I'll freeze for 24 hours. <laughs> I wouldn't believe it. But, yeah? Oh, my God. I, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. It will happen. Hey, I believe it. Amen. You know, they say that whatever you say, the universe conforms. Yes, I'm putting it out there, please. So every morning when you wake up, say, Beyonce, I'm going to add direct to your next music video. Yes. Then you go back to sleep, yes. wake up the next day. And before you realize, it will happen. It will and happen. I'm telling you this because... I hosted Global Citizen. When they organized it in South Africa, this was in 2018 or so. Oh, like me too, when I saw it. I saw it on TV and I said, I will I host this concert it. very soon. And then I got a, a, an email from yeah. them and they said, and I also it's froze. True. I froze it's for like 48 true. hours or more. <laughs> because listen, I had to go and check the websites that they tagged. I, I checked everything because I, I didn't want to see it to be a scam. authentic, yeah. But you had to do your due diligence to be sure. But that just made me believe that if you really want something, if it, you say you it, it, if you believe yeah. it, it will happen. Yeah. So yeah. Beyonce, here we come. We are coming. And now that I've said it's commissioner, 20%. <laughs> so if it happens, Baba. I'll give you 20%. Otherwise. I'll give you, I'll give you but a 20%. Anyway,
What would you say to every young person out there? Because you represent those young people who have dreams, who have talents. A lot of them don't even know the talent they have. Yeah, it's true. You discovered yours, and now you've turned it into something that fetches you millions of dollars. <laughs> you have no, you're not doing Oh, you're don't not worry. Doing. I'm not exaggerating. Oh, it's happening. They're not, they're so they're so what would you say to all those young people out there to encourage them? Okay. I would just say that you need to be passionate about th this work. If you really want to get into the field, it's just two things. Be passionate about it and be disciplined. Because mm. without these two, you will give up. It mm. is hard. The work is beautiful at the end, but it is very hard. So if you're not passionate and be disciplined to do it, discipline, that's, that's the key factor. Discipline. If you're not disciplined, you will give up. That, that's the only two things. Everything yeah. else you can do. Yeah. But to be passionate and have that zeal and discipline to work towards it, that, that's all you need to succeed in that Indeed. Industry. Indeed. Indeed. On that note, so when he popped the question, how did you react? Hey, you ready? You thought I was going to let you off. <laughs> I told you I'll find a way to come back anyway, anyhow. So how I, did he ask? Did I think, he go on one knee? Oh, yeah, he did. Hey! I need to be romantic. Can you imagine? Is he romantic? He, he, he tries to be hardcore. But, but you know that he's soft at heart, <laughs> yes. right? Yes. Oh, I, I, I didn't believe it. I think they planned it with my family. Okay. Yeah, it was... It was his birthday, actually. Ah. So, yeah. I didn't really. So, we went away, blah, blah, blah. So, we had dinner after. And you went away to it. <laughs> oh, I got here. No, no way. I think I saw you guys on a boat somewhere. Hey, was said. that Opa? Yeah, it was his birthday. Yeah, I've been following you. Oh, that was not. That, was that not, wasn't the that one. Wasn't day. But you put were on a boat. You know, it was his birthday. Or was it your birthday? It was someone's birthday. I, I thought of you. The bloggers got me like that. Uh -huh. oh, that one was Valentine's Day. Oh, that. Yeah. Okay. But it was his birthday. You went away. And then what happened? Tell us. And, uh, and he popped it. Did you cry? Oh, I was shocked. Oh, because I wasn't expecting it. But what's Richie like as a partner? Hey, Richie is amazing. I don't. I don't know. No, he said, hey, I thought you were going to say something. <laughs> oh no, as in, if I have to start describing who Richie is as a partner, we won't leave here because uh, oh, he's, you're he's so everything. in love. Yeah, I lo yes, yes. You love him. Oh. 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 <laughs> How long have you guys been together? Two years. Two years. But I've known him for like yeah, seven years. Like but you mentioned. Been together like yeah. Two, two years. years. Yeah. Serious, serious. Yeah, serious. So serious. the wedding is happening soon. Wait, let me see the ring again, darling. Let me see. Let me see. It's shining. It's shining. Aish. You will receive your boyfriend in Jesus' name. <laughs> So all of you are single. <laughs> oh, more bread. It is well. Don't worry. But congrats, congratulations, and Thank I wish you, you the best. If you don't Thank invite you. us to our wedding, all of us say, eh? Oh, we'll come. We will be there. Whether I you invite us or not, we'll, we'll get crashed. Hey, how? Oh, you ask see, us Richie how. is anti sobi like that, so I don't he even know. He doesn't have how... a choice. Oh. We are coming. It's hard. But whatever happens, all the best to you Thank too you. and to your companies as well. Hey, I, need I know this. you guys Thank are you. working so hard. We see the great things that you do in the industry. Keep it up. Thank and you. thank you for bringing a change in the industry. More you have no come. idea what you're doing. Thank you. More for a lot come. of us. More to come. More to come. Yes. Amen to that. A museum someday, like a Madame Tosu. It's in the works. It's in the works, right? Yeah, Imagine us having our own. We have to have your statue mm. in there, right mm. there. Mm. <laughs> should, I, should I wear a bikini or? Oh, no. Oh, you don't want a bikini. <laughs> okay, I hear you. Whatever you say, I'll be there for you. But thank you so much. You're thank welcome. you. Put your hands together for Baba Muaba. <laughs> General Manager and Creative Director, Tagon Creative Studio, CEO of Infinity Designs, Creator of Wonderland, Art Director on All Links Videos, and many other people, example, Hajia For Real, Adina, and the list goes on and on. I forgot to ask you, if you had to work with another artist in Ghana, who would it be? I think Ken Promise. So okay. Yeah, maybe Ken Promise. Maybe him, yeah. right? We're looking forward to that. He, too, he does a lot of romantic videos, so yes. I can just imagine. Yes. Let me know. I'll join you in the, you know, set. <laughs> I'll be his girlfriend in the video. What do you say? <laughs> Anyway, from a great lady to another great lady, Dinah Hamilton will be joining us shortly. Keep watching. Thank you so much, Baba. Thank it's you. been a pleasure having you on the show.